Hello everyone and welcome here on my channel Cheerful Dev. I hope you are doing good. I hope you are doing well and I hope you are having a beautiful week. If not, remember guys, it will always get better. Just never give up. So in this video, we are going to continue with our tutorial series we did uh, in the previous uh, episode, which how to create an animation inside Photoshop. In this video, we are going to see how we can make animation inside Unity. And it's really really easy guys and there is two types of animation that you can make so the first one we are going to start with the basic one so the first one is uh, we are going to add our uh, run uh, animation that we created in the previous episode so uh, if you remember and if you watch the episode we created a sprite character one by one right so we created a sprite for each frame it means that we have the first frame here and this is the last frame so this is the run animation one frame per frame so what we need to do is to click on this picture here and to drag it inside our asset area so i have a sprite folder inside my project folder here and i just click and drag this here in this place here and unity will import the picture and once the uh, importing is done you will have a picture just like this so this is the run animation as you can see here we have the pink master run so this one here is the picture i just imported so how can we configure this so we can use it for an animation the first thing we need to do is to uh, look in the inspector so I, I will select my picture here and I will look in the inspector. You need to make sure that the, the texture type is Sprite 2D. And the Sprite mode, we, uh, it will be in single uh, in, in the first time. You need to change this to be multiple. It means that we have multiple frame in this particular picture here. So when we set it to be multiple, we will have the right to Sprite editor the picture and uh, let's say how we can it and we can cut every frame from our picture let me show you here uh, i will set the pixel per unit for 32 this will make uh, this will give me a good size for my character in the game and i will click this sprite editor once you've done this sprite editor it will show up just like this now look with me in the top corner let me just make this bigger a little bit so you can see it clearly here in the top corner in the sprite editor if you click here you will find that we have a lot of types here there is a custom outline a custom physics shape and a secondary texture we need to pick the sprite editor you pick the sprite editor and then you click on this slice here now since we have every frame separated from the other and we have a transparent background when we click this automatic the type we will uh, keep it automatic when you click this slice here it will automatically detect the limits for each frame so this one here is one frame and as you can see we have this uh, shape here around the first frame and we have the second one we have the third one and so on as you can see guys we created four boxes for each frame this means unity now detects every frame as a separated uh, sprite once you've done that you click the apply button here and once you apply this you will notice a uh, rivet just keep it uh, which was for me uh, in your case you will click apply in my case i already did this so i don't need to do it again now if you click on your sprite on uh, the project uh, area you will see this uh, flesh here this play it looks like a play if you click it it will show you all the sprites that are inside your animation inside your frames right so as you can see we have now one two three four five six we have six pictures each is individual to the other uh, even if they are in one picture now they are divided into six frames and what we can do is we can select all of them at once from the uh, first one to the last one and we can just click them and drag them to the menu here in our scene so if i click and drag unity will give me 
this window here it says that we are going to create a new animation it means that unity will automatically switch between those uh, sprites one after another so if you uh, click here let's say you will click and you will create an animation you give it the name that you want you pick the folder that you want and you just click save once you've done that it will be an animation created uh, fully for your character and when you click play on the uh, unity editor you should see an animation for your character something just like this in my case or in your case it will be the run animation for your character however it is it doesn't matter so this is really really easy guys and you can do it really uh, easy guys <laughs> so this is the first way of making an animation the second one is you go to window in the top corner here and you go to the animation and you pick this animation once you've done that this window will pop up uh, here just something like this i don't know something like this or, or uh, just floating around i like to keep it here in this area so i can use it really easy and what you need to do it's it's really easy guys let's say i will have just this particular uh, game object here so this is my character here right so this one here is the character i have you can go to the animation area here and you click create in this button here and it will give you the right to create a new animation so and you can pick of course where you need to uh, save this animation in my case i will save it here so let's name this test 01 just to to test it uh, and see how it will looks like and now we have this animation area and what we can do basically you can hit the record button here just like this and anything that you do will be uh, recorded in a frame rate so here we have zero it means that in the first frame we need to do something let's say i will move my character just a little bit and unity will record this movement and as you can see here we have a movement in our sprite here and let's say i will move to the frame number uh, 45 something just like this and i will move this character up a little bit somewhere here it means that unity recorded this position in this movement in this particular area here and if i move my frame work between the zero uh, frame and to the uh, 45 you will see that we have a transition between this position and the other one this is a way to create animation but in our case let's say i want to make an animation for this character and here in this first time we will have this sprite here how can we do this well it's really easy let me just click here and i will drag this in the top corner here somewhere here so i can have a clear view of everything here i will select this one here and i will put this character in the area number 0000 and i will move now to let's say 10 something just like this and i will drag and drop the second one in this place here and i will drag this one in this area here again and i will drag this one in this place and so on you get the idea guys with this we can keep uh, drag and drop in those uh, objects here really easy and if you click play you can notice we have an animation for our character so basically anything that you do inside the animation will affect your character right so here i just drag those pictures in this frame area it means that for for my animation it means that we are going to switch those sprites one after another and that's exactly what unity is doing he's switching between all the animation one after another let me just click pause so we don't uh, see this animation anymore and if i click on my player character here you will notice this i already have some animation for my player character here let me just delete this one here in this scene because i don't need it <laughs> i want to show you the animation i already created for this one so if you click here you can see this is the idle animation and we have a jump animation and we have the run animation as you can see here that's really easy guys and you can make it really really easy inside unity 
your animation is your own creation guys i don't want to make these videos really really long for you guys so i will keep it here so in the next episode we are going to use the skinny editor we are going to see how we can create animation for our full character using the bone method so uh, i hope you did like this uh, short tutorial guys subscribe if you are new to this channel hit the like button if you don't like what we do of course and hopefully i will see you guys in the next video see you soon